Hi everyone, welcome to my hi, welcome to my channel, Kristen in Life. My name is Charlotte. Thanks for being here, guys. Capricorn, this is your Tarot Express. So, guys, um, I've been having problems with my phone. Um, if you are used to the channel, you know this by now. I have issues with phones. So I'm back to my shitty phone. It's a Samsung. I'm an Apple girl. So needless to say, I don't get it. And uh, also, I have no storage on this phone. It has to be an SD card, blah, blah, blah. So I came up with this thing. We're going to go straight to the point. It's your tarot espresso. We're going to go straight to the point. We're going to ask you for the message that you need to hear right now. Now, is your espresso going to be sweet, bitter? Is there milk? Is there whipped cream? Is there sugar cane? Is there sweet and low? We don't know. So let's find out, Capricorn. We're going to get some tarot, and then we'll, we'll get some orcs. Start with tarot. We're going to get six cards, okay? How are you guys doing, Capricorn? If I recall, your reading was pretty good for March. Go check it out, if I remember clearly. So let me... Okay, a card just fell, but... It's the lovers, but I'm not going to take it. We're just There's a choice or a relationship on hand. I just want to see what ways you're reading for March. <sighs> Capricorn. Oh, get ready to receive magic. Hmm, is the magic love? Did get the lovers just now. Let's see. You're definitely getting a spiritual upgrade. Very, your yeah, your reading was very fiery, very igniting. It was like an ignition, an internal ignition of your soul. Okay, let's see. Here, what's your for Capricorn? Five cups reversed. We like seeing that. End of sorrow, end of despair, end of feeling like you're not worthy. No longer um, blaming yourself. Looking to the future optimistically. You know, no longer crying over spilled milk and playing victim. So it's gathering your strength and your courage. Standing in your power again after a long time of uh, doubt. Okay, five of cups reversed. Yes, queen of pentacles. Mm-hmm. Um, rediscovered sense of worth and purpose that brings abundance. It's picking yourself off the ground. Yeah, ten of wands. I'm not going to take the ones that fell. There are too many. This is dropping burdens, all kinds of burdens. Deciding to live again. Ten of Wands, Five of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. Building your reality the way you want it to be and deciding to invest in positive energy and letting go of fear. And letting go of uh, the sense of having to be responsible for everyone. And giving that energy to yourself. Dropping that sense of duty that is imposed on you or self-inflicted. Pretty clear messages for you. Knight of Swords. Swift movement forward. Some messages coming towards you. News. Taking charge. Could be you taking charge or somebody is coming towards you with some really... Um, Clear message, some clear communication coming towards you here. It's almost like a wake-up call. Because it's under the five of cups reversed. Two more cards, please, Spirit. Two more cards for caps. Two more cards for caps. King of Swords, wow. We have the Knight and the King of Swords? Boy. News that grows. News that um, 
that you're able to work on news that is um, part of your growth. Or it could be your evolution, that realization that you've been like taking on other people's responsibilities, you've been talking down on yourself, and you decide to be in the King of Swords, which is the position of clarity, of power, and of decision. Wisdom. And that's sitting under the queen. So it's like, okay, no longer, you know what? I'm going to put that energy towards myself. Um, I've been down too long. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Some of you, you left the job because we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Cups, no more confusion. Maybe you guys were drowning your sorrows in alcohol or some stuff like that. Distractions, basically. It doesn't have to be consumption. It could be watching too much Netflix. It could be all that stuff. And, um, and the confusion could be also you trying to take on everybody's burdens, right? You're dropping something. You're dropping, you're choosing you, Capricorn. You are choosing you. Because we have the five pentacles and the ten of wands. That's dropping burdens. That's no longer being victim mentality. This is forgiving yourself. This is um, acceptance. Five of Cups reversed. <clears throat> and this is dropping all. It's the end. I will accept me. I will know that I'm enough. I will know that I don't have to make everybody happy and deal with other people's emotional um, problems. <clears throat> I'm dropping all of those and focusing on myself. Queen of Pentacles. Right? Maybe a new project. Like I said, this could be you guys leaving a job because we do have the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So this could be your old boss and you're deciding to go on your own because you were just getting nowhere. No appreciation, having to do all the work, not a promotion, nothing, nothing. No appreciation and feeling left depleted and sad and asking yourself, why am I not doing enough? Because you guys have a tendency to do that. You guys are very hard on yourself, Capricorns. And I feel like you're, it's like you're dropping the burdens and you're deciding to put that energy towards yourself. That is the main energy here for you, Capricorn, okay? Now, we also have, like I said, the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords. So this could be you moving swiftly, elevating, and not being uh, irrational anymore and not answering the call when people call you, oh my God, this happened to me, come help me. You know, the Knight of Swords is always rushing forward a little bit carelessly um he's impetuous it could be very immature energy and it's not filtered it's not it's not controlled not controlled but it's not wise energy it's a little bit of a foolish like um <sighs> impetuous it's impetuous but it's not in a good way you know it gets in itself into trouble because it doesn't think before it acts um or speaks and then you have the knight so it's an evolution it's a grown energy here of the knight of so uh, the king of swords so it's like maybe this is you your growth your change this is what you're realizing now that you used to always come to the rescue of people you know that are in sorrow that with their problems whatever the, it is they're going through you used to always take on people's burdens and i feel like you're dropping that you're like you know what I'm hearing a wise one, a wise man told me, you know what I mean? It's like, so you're getting wiser. You're becoming the king of swords. It's like, you know what? It doesn't mean I'm going to drop them all together because obviously they're people you care about. If you're willing to rush in whenever they call you, oh my gosh, you know, but it's like, I don't have to do that much. I don't have to become, you know, them and take on their problems. I can just advise them. How about I give them my peace of mind? That's the king of swords. Not get involved, like, body and soul in the issue, but I can give them advice. You know, that's kind of that judge energy, the king of swords. It's like, because obviously you're wise and people really respect your opinion and your input. But it becomes a problem, right, when you start taking on a bunch of other people's problems and they leave you with their energy because I feel like, I'm talking to some Capricorns that are very empathic or that have kind of some responsibility in the family. You know, it's some kind of statue. You, you guys are, you're, you have your position. You're in a position somehow, I feel, so um, of authority. And so here, maybe you're an elder and you have little brothers and sisters. I don't know. 
or something. So, and here you become the king of swords. It's like, okay, I can give advice without being that involved. I'm just going to give the advice and let them fend for themselves in their life. Because you know what? I've been taking on people's burdens to the point where I've forgotten about myself, right? Okay. So, um, yeah, that could be also <clears throat> why you have the knight, the king, and the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, you taking on people's burdens so much that you forget to give to yourself, right? Now you're deciding to be the Knight of the King of Swords, sorry, and you're gonna become the Queen of Pentacles, which is, you know, still that nurturing self of yours, that's still that nurturing energy, you know, but not so much as of like, you know, taking care of people to the point where it's like you're their mother, you know? You're, you're extending more in your masculine energy. That's what I want to say, Capricorn. You're standing more in your masculine energy. Your yang energy. All right? Okay. Let's get some um, oracles. Here we have the Starseed Oracle and the Work Your Light mixed together. All right? So yeah, you're dropping other people's burdens and deciding to focus on self. For caps, please. That's the oracle for caps. Ooh. Two. Don't dim your light to fit in. Mm-hmm. Or don't let people take your light away to the point where you don't even have anything else to shine for. So how are you dimming your light in order to fit in? I feel like this is actually your energy, you giving your energy to other people, right? And like I said, feeling left depleted, ten of wands. Or like being afraid to say no. Being afraid to be the king of swords. Because you don't want to other, or hurt other people's feelings. You know? If your nature is that of being naturing a caretaker, obviously, you know, if that's your position and it's, your, it's a responsibility, we do have responsibilities. We do. So, and it's a responsibility that you have. You need some balance in it, though. I feel like you, it's, it's, you've been going a little bit too much towards the I have to, you know, and you guys, Capricorn, that's all about what you're about. Responsibility. You can be really hard on yourself, but there's a way to be responsible and still be, um, have boundaries. Okay. So we have Cosmic Heart, the Cosmic Heart. You have a star seed and a work your light. So this is the first sign that has two that are actually... Two of each, one of each. So we have the cosmic heart, devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer. Devotion to yourself, right? That's what I said. How about you do that? Give the devotion to yourself. You've been devoted to, to other people's needs so long. It's time to be devoted to yourself. Okay? So yeah, Capricorn, mm-hmm. Self, you know, yep. Dropping other people's burden and devoting to yourself. And you know what? The more you are in balance, right? The better you can help others. What good is it if you give everything and you're left with nothing? No one wins, right? Okay, balance, Capricorn. Balance. Let's get an angel card and wrap it up for Capricorn Peace Spirit. Angel card for Capricorn. Spirit, what do you have for Capricorn? Angels. What do you have? Ooh, okay. What do you have for Capricorn? Mm -hmm. Angel of knowledge, wisdom, king of swords energy. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you, yeah, because you're so wise and so charismatic. 
and so put together. People tend to always want to come towards you for advice. And you have a really great poker face because nobody sits and wonders how you're feeling. Nobody asks, oh, how are you feeling? All they do is like, oh my gosh, and dump their stuff on you. Nobody ever calls you to just to say, hi, how are you doing? Every time people call you, it's for something, for you to resolve a problem, for you to give advice because you're wise. But it's good, right? It feels good to help others, but I feel like you need to put, set some boundaries. You need to set some boundaries because you don't want to be depleted. You don't want to be depleted, okay? And if you don't set boundaries, people are going to, they won't stop. Trust me, they're not going to stop. They're not. So it's up to you. There's a need for balance here. You don't have to go low on your batteries. For you to realize this it just takes more time for you to recharge so how about you just give half of your duracell and keep the other half for yourself right and start taking care of yourself too start start nurturing self-devotion self love self um nurturing all right okay caps so yeah, it's, it's taking me back to your reading that I was saying about your fire, you know, you see being tired of doing the same thing over and over again. That's that energy of that fire. You need to recharge your batteries and there's a need for you to um, maybe disappear for a while, you know, cut the cords a little bit, recharge that battery, recharge that inner doer cell for a little bit, okay? Look at this. This is um, an archangel of knowledge. But look at all the fire here. The light bulbs. I'm talking about batteries, right? Food for your thoughts. Food for your mind. Food for your body. Food for your soul. I feel like you've been depleted. It's time for ignition. Inner ignition. All right? Okay. I love you, uh, Capricorn. Love you, love you, love you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. If you want a personal reading, my emails below. If you want to donate, my PayPal's below. And I will see you next time. Bye, Capricorn.